What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. Of course, this video doesn't need much explanation. If you used a piece of software such as Hentex's Osu Cleaner, or of course, my Osu Cleaner, which is a fork of the previous one I mentioned with a ton of extra features, you may have ended up deleting background images, meaning that whenever you start up certain songs with missing background images, you'll get an error code in game just before your song starts. Of course, it doesn't actually affect gameplay or anything like that, but you may be sick and tired of the error. In today's video, I'll show you the one and only solution to that other than re-downloading the song and replacing the background that way. But first of all, let's see exactly what this error is. If I go ahead and open up my songs folder, you'll see that usually songs have backgrounds and of course they show up as such. Some of them will have videos, etc, etc. But if I go ahead and search for a song that I recently removed the background for, you'll see that when I click on it, it doesn't actually have any background. It uses the default background from your skin or the one that's currently set to the default one in Osu. If we open up the song itself, you'll see this beep map is missing some files and may not be displayed correctly. But if we have a look at the main page over here, you can see it's still ranked and our scores will still count. Sometimes if you open up a song, it'll say something about deleting backgrounds makes Osu angry. That's exactly what we'll be fixing in this video. If we're going to fix this error, we have to do one of two things. Replace the background with the original background by re-downloading and re-adding the song. Or number two, replacing the background on our side with a preset image. Now that's exactly what I've added to my Osu Cleaner piece of software that I alluded to earlier. Not only can you save gigabytes of space out of your huge OC library, move it to another disk really easily, but it also includes the feature of replacing missing backgrounds. Though the only downside of this is that it will replace the background with a really tiny one by one pixel black image, saving you space, but it does mean that instead of getting the randomly generated backgrounds as such, or whatever background you have, it will instead just be completely black. Though of course, a lot of people like to have their background dim set to 100% anywhere so that there's no background showing at all. That's basically what I've built this off of. So if you're comfortable having a completely black background just to get rid of that error completely, then this video is for you. Otherwise, if you want to not have the error and have something in the background, what you'll have to do is replace the background, either by getting the background files from someone else or by re-downloading the actual song files itself and re-adding them to your computer by simply opening them up in Osu. So that Osu cleaner that I mentioned earlier. In the description down below, you'll not only find a link to the GitHub page, but a full tutorial on this software of mine. It's open source, meaning that you can go through the code and make sure that nothing malicious is happening yourself. And of course, the community can do that too. Over here, you'll find the source code at the very top. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find a lot of information about the project, installation instructions, etc., etc. And at the very bottom, a link to the original Hentex project that I alluded to earlier, the Osu Cleaner. That's basically what this project is based off of, though it adds a ton of features as this one was last touched about three years ago in November 2018. So back to my project over here. All that you have to do to download the software is click the download latest button right over here just below the banner image. This will take you across to the releases page where you can scroll down and click to download the zip. This 7-zip file above it assumes that you have 7-zip installed if you'd like to download a slightly smaller file, though of course they contain the exact same files inside of it. I'll download the zip just as an example. When it's done, click keep in Chrome if you're prompted and open up the zip file. Inside of it, you'll find a folder. All that we have to do to use the software is extract this folder to a place like our desktop and open it up. Inside of the folder, you'll find technoosucleaner.exe. Opening this up will open up the actual program itself. No installation necessary. You can put this on a USB or simply delete it when you're done. If we have a look at the releases page once again and head back to the information page, if the project for some reason doesn't open up, refer to this section over here. All that you have to do is click the link here where it says web installer, which will take you across to the .NET Framework 4.5.2 runtime installer. After downloading the file on this page and installing it, you should be able to launch the software. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll fire up technoosucleaner.exe and it opens as such. Now, of course, if you'd like to know about how the software works and how you can save gigabytes of hard disk space, especially if you have a huge collection of songs, make sure to check the description down below 
And in that video, I also go through the Move Songs button over here, which will create a symlink, moving your songs folder from one drive to another, saving you tons of space on your C drive, which is probably an SSD that's really small. Anyway, all that aside, let's get back to this video. In order to fix missing backgrounds, let's go ahead and create some. So with the software, I'll go ahead and clean out the backgrounds of all of my songs. Let's find just how much space out of 30 gigabytes and 5,000 songs I can save. As you can see, all of the song backgrounds are over here and take up currently 2.5 gigabytes of hard disk space on my drive. Using the software, you can get rid of tons of files at once just by clicking select all and delete. Though, of course, just before doing this, I made a backup of my songs folder as I do actually play with backgrounds. This is just an example. Let's go ahead and delete all of my backgrounds from all of my songs and let's do the videos too. I'll click find once again. Deleting the backgrounds and the videos will save me 9.8 gigabytes out of about 30 in total. So let's select all and click delete. Now it'll start running through all of the files and getting rid of all of the background files, meaning that when I fire up basically any song within the game, it'll give me that deleting backgrounds makes Osu angry grrr message. Though of course, I'll wait for this to finish. There we go. I've now just saved myself 10 gigabytes of hard disk space, but of course I've also removed all of the backgrounds and videos from all of my songs. So opening up any song will give me that error. Of course, I don't need to show you that as I showed you previously. Let's go ahead and click this new button in the software here that I added today in version 2.2. Replace missing images with black images. Upon clicking this, it'll run through all of our songs and find which songs are missing backgrounds. Then it'll go ahead and copy in a one by one pixel black image that takes up about 90 bytes of hard disk space, which is really tiny compared to a file that could be hundreds of kilobytes or even megabytes times 3,900, or of course, however many songs you have missing backgrounds for. So now if I fire up Osu itself, and we head back to the exact same song we were in earlier, in my case, Cara Cara Benito Flamingo, you'll notice that it'll have a black background instead of the randomly generated background. And of course, basically every other song does too, as I've deleted the background for all of these as well. If we go ahead and fire up the actual song itself, you'll see that we still have a black background, but the warning sign that we had earlier has now vanished completely, meaning that we've now successfully got rid of it. Though of course, as I mentioned earlier, it is limited to having just a black background. Of course, storyboard elements still work as you see in this video and videos would too on top of that. While the number of people that would find this useful would be relatively limited, if you're someone who plays with 100% background dim, you could go ahead and save yourself gigabytes of hard disk space by removing all of the song's backgrounds and simply replacing them with a super tiny black image. That's exactly what the software does, or at least that section of it. Now, of course, I'm gonna restore all of my songs back to the previous state because I do actually use the backgrounds while I'm playing. But of course, if this video helped you, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Once again, links to the Osu Cleaner will be found in the description down below, as well as links to other videos on this topic. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.